so dear learners today i will discuss concept of ecosystem now what is mean by ecosystem ecosystem is a geographic area where plants animals other organisms as well as weather and landscape they work together to form bubble of life so this is the bubble of life now what is the nature of ecosystem so in nature of ecosystem is based on its geographical features now the geographical feature includes hills mountains plains rivers lakes and islands now what are the factors of this ecosystem ecosystem have main two factors i am repeating ecosystem have main two factors first one is abiotic factor and second one is biotic factors now i will explain abiotic factors now abiotic factors include what abiotic factor includes water atmosphere temperature soil sunlight and wind now the question arises over here why these factors are called abiotic factors because these are the non living component of the ecosystem students without water without air will you survive so water is very important air is very important one in case of that atmosphere there are different types of atmospheres lithospheres lithos lithos means rock hydrosphere hydro means water and so on see by considering the temperature we have main two seasons winter season and summer season especially in india we have three types of seasons winter rainy and summer season see in case of that soil there are different types of soils for agriculture purpose we need fertile garden soil and the normal flora of that soil will be useful for cultivation of good quality plants in case of sunlight why sunlight is important one see we have skin and when our skin is exposed to the sunlight then our skin will start vitamin d synthesis that vitamin d synthesis will be useful for the absorption of calcium and that calcium will stimulate your immune response so these abiotic factors these abiotic factors will be the part of our life now coming to that abiotic factors now in abiotic factors there are three types of abiotic factors producers consumers and decomposers now what is the difference between producers consumers and decomposers we have plants plants are photo autotrophic one that means they can fix atmospheric carbon dioxide into the six carbon containing glucose they can also convert light energy into the chemical energy so plants are primary producers we consume the products synthesized by that plant as a food so that's why all human beings all animals all birds are consumers and after consumption we release the dead decaying matter and for their decomposition purpose there are different microbiological entities it includes bacteria it includes fungus it also includes some insects and so on so these are the two important factors of ecosystem that is biotic factor and abiotic factors now what are the types of ecosystem while classifying any ecosystem we have to consider <coughs> whether ecosystem is on 
to the soil or into the water so if ecosystem will grow onto the land then that type of ecosystem is called terrestrial ecosystem or it is also called as not land based ecosystem then second one is aquatic ecosystem see in our earth 97% water is available and that water will acts as a source of nutrients right so aquatic ecosystem will be useful for the growth of different types of fishes different types of microorganisms and different types of fungus cells so we have two types of system that is aquatic ecosystem and terrestrial ecosystem now coming to the geographical regions found into our india so there are several distinct geographical regions in india we just start from that north that is himalaya then we also have gangetic plains then highlands of central india then western and eastern ghats semi arid deserts in the west deccan plateau co astral belts and andaman and nicobar islands so geographically india is a diverse country now how does the this ecosystem work our ecosystem functions through several bio geochemical cycles and there also involvement of some energy transfer mechanisms now i am going to explain these bio geochemical cycles one by one so we have water cycle so water uh, is the part of that oceans so ocean will uh, come in contact with sunlight sunlight will condense the water found in it then it will get evaporated then it will transfer through that atmosphere right then it will directly come in contact with different uh, plateaus and mountains then they will precipitate then again the cycle is going on ground water storage will be there and water will again come back to the oceans so water cycle through or with the help of that water cycle water will be transferred from what ocean onto that terrestrial ecosystem or also called as what the uh, soil next second carbon cycle see students if anyone ask uh, nutritionally what is your classification then we humans are nutritionally chemo heterotrophic one nutritionally we are chemo heterotrophic one that means we are using organic matter as a principal carbon source and chemicals as a source of energy so plants are autotrophic one while humans are chemo heterotrophic one so after consumption of that food we will digest it right and co2 will be released so all organisms except plants uh, are chemically chemo heterotrophic one so respiration through respiration there is a release of carbon dioxide right due to the weathering of terrestrial rock there is also release of co2 right due to the decomposition phenomenon of microorganism they will also release co2 right due to the microbial respiration they will also release co2 so this is a one type of exchange through which co2 will be what fixed so plant fix co2 while animal will utilize the fixed carbon for their growth so this is all about carbon cycle the next nitrogen see air have 79 percent nitrogen air have 79 percent nitrogen and which is in very inert form nitrogen will be fixed by using three different methods it will be fixed either through lightning it will be fixed either through chemical process or it will be fixed either through biological process so nitrogen cycle is also important one right see due to denitrification 
which is done by bacteria nitrogen will get released right due to the ammonification denitrification due to the nitrogen fixation there will be exchange of there will be exchange of what nitrogen cycle now the coming to that oxygen cycle in case of that oxygen cycle see we use oxygen as a respiratory component and that will be distributed through distributed with the help of hemoglobin throughout your body now who is responsible for this production see earth have ocean ocean have diverse type of microbial load which is called as a cyanobacteria so the cyanobacteria plays a very important role for the release of oxygen and that oxygen will be transferred through air into our uh, respiratory tract and we are going to utilize it then an energy cycle see this is the one triangle which explain the energy cycle so there are different levels right it starts with primary producers then heterotrophs secondary producers and tertiary producers that means the energy is transferred from primary producers up to that tertiary consumers and after the date of the tertiary consumers that will be decomposed with the help of microorganism as well as with the help of some fungal species thank you thanks a lot